My name is Luna. And I don't know who my dad is. I mean, I know who my genetic father is, I think. By the way, shout out to my genetic father who is probably watching this with me right now because my mom forced him to. But I need to know who my true father is. Sometimes I see celebrities and I'm just like, that's my dad. And there's 16 distinct celebrities who I feel that way about. So today we are gonna be using cold, hard science, and by that I mean my very biased opinions, to figure out who my true dad is. Introducing our contestants. Colonel Sanders of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Billy Mays from Bam and the Stain is Gone. Teddy Roosevelt from The Night at the Museum movie. Elvis Presley from the world? Troy Bolton's dad from High School Musical. Jim from The Office. Jeff Probst from Survivor. Bill Nye from Bill Nye the Science Guy. The Sound of Music Dude from The Sound of Music. Harry from Mamma Mia. Simon Cowell from American Idol. Santa Claus from Christmas. Chris Harrison from The Bachelor, Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother, The Quaker Oats Man from The Quaker Oats Container in My Pantry, and Carl Azus from CNN Student News. So I'm gonna be using a bracket system to determine who my true dad is. I just tried to drink some LaCroix and spilled it on myself. This is why I need a dad ASAP. Okay, so first up we have Colonel Sanders versus Billy Mays. Colonel Sanders is a very strong candidate because I actually spent five years of my life living in Kentucky, and so I just feel like we have some lineage already going on. Then there's Billy Mays, and I think Billy Mays would be a great dad because he just has so much pizzazz. I feel like if he was asking you to clean up your room, he would be like, BAM! And the mess is gone. I don't even remember what product he was selling because I thought that it was Sham Wow. Apparently he sells OxyClean. That kind of just sounds like a drug. I'll give you 50 bucks for a pound of that OxyClean. Stay in school, don't do drugs. So I'm just gonna put it out there. I think that Colonel Sanders is like a little bit too old to be my dad. Number one, he lived in the 1800s. And number two, I'm a vegetarian. Like I don't want my dad to be famous for murdering chickens. Especially when I feel like on the inside, I could have been a chicken in a past life. So I think Colonel Sanders is out of the running and Billy Mays is gonna continue on in the race to be my true dad. So next up we have Teddy Roosevelt, Night at the Museum edition and Elvis Presley, regular edition. This is probably gonna be the hardest decision of this whole bracket. So Teddy Roosevelt was a very inspirational dude. I feel like he was America's Dad. I also one time read this book where Teddy Roosevelt was like, Christmas trees are bad! And then his kids were like, No, but we want a Christmas tree! And then he was like, No, go to bed! Christmas is canceled! And then they like snuck out of their window and they cut down a Christmas tree and then he was like, oh, Okay, I love you anyway. And I feel like that leniency in a father is something that I really appreciate. Okay, but then we have Elvis. He is, mm, he just is what the world is. We could be living on the world or we could be living on Elvis's like perfectly styled hair. It doesn't really matter. But I feel like sometimes when I think about Elvis, it's in like a, oh, he's like low-key attractive kind of way. And I, I don't really think that that's how you're supposed to feel about your dad, I think. So for that reason, I'm gonna take Elvis out of the running and keep Teddy Roosevelt in. Is it Roosevelt or Roosevelt? Okay, so next up we have Troy Bolton's dad from High School Musical and Jim from The Office. Troy Bolton's dad, he's just not a good guy. The one quote that I can remember from him is being like walking into Mrs. Darvis's detention room and he goes, what are those two doing in a tree? What the heck are those two doing in a tree? Your child and his best friend are embracing Mother Earth? And this is how you treat them? And then we have Jim. I feel like he's the ultimate dad humor. Stapler and Jello, the prank where he like programmed Dwight to want a mint every time that he made the computer noise. I actually don't like watching The Office, but we talk about it a lot in my psychology classes. So I think because Jim Halpert really has that like go-to dad sense of humor and the fact that Troy Bolton's dad is literally a horrible person and does not deserve to be my dad even though he is, I think we're gonna have Jim win this round. Okay, so now we have Jeff Probst versus Bill Nye and this 
is another tricky one. Trick or treat, oh wait, it's trick because none of you are actually related to me. So Jeff Probst from Survivor is kind of like that dad who pushes you, but not like in a mean way, but also like he expects a lot from you. Whereas I feel like Bill Nye is a lot more chill, but also I hate science. <laughs> Chemistry was my personal hell. I don't think that you have to have the same interests as your dad. Sometimes dads, ramble on about like things that you don't really care about. For that reason, I feel like that keeps Bill in the running. And honestly, Bill Nye has taught me a lot. He's really enriched my mind. So I think Bill Nye is more of my true dad. Okay, so then we have Sound of Music Dude versus Harry from Mamma Mia. So Sound of Music Dude literally treated his children like trained walruses. That was not a cute look. But also Harry from Mamma Mia like abandoned his child. Okay, that's not his fault because he didn't know that it existed and it might not even be his. But then the dude from Sound of Music reformed. He becomes a better dad. I don't know if he can stand on his own, you know, as a good dad or does he need Maria there to like lift him up? One does not know. Harry from Mamma Mia is kind of cool because he had like his little rocker past. Guyliner. I would kind of appreciate those cool stories he mentions in the movie that he doesn't have any kids of his own. Just uh two dogs, I think. Although I hate dogs, I feel like he just has more space in his heart for me than, you know, uh, Von Trapp dude who has like seven children. So for that reason, I think that Harry from Mamma Mia would be a better dad. So now we have Simon Cowell versus Santa Claus. They are such opposites, but they are both just such dad vibes. Simon Cowell is that dad who Wokey wrecks your entire life emotionally. And then Santa's that dad who like spoils you rotten. But here's the thing, Simon Cowell is there for you. The thing about Santa is he basically abandons his children for the entire year except for Christmas. And that just seems kind of rude. And then also he comes back and he thinks that he can win you over with gifts. So for that reason, I think that Simon Cowell would be a better candidate for my true father. So now we have Chris Harrison from The Bachelor versus Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother. So Chris Harrison is like that dad that's always trying to marry you off, which is a little bit outdated. And then Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother, I feel like he would be a good dad. Like he seems like he really loves his kids, but for some reason they just hate him. And all the scenes where they're like talking back to his stories, they're like, shut up dad, you're so stupid. And I kind of see that as a red flag. You know, like the fact that both of them hate him. Something fishy is going on there. But then the other thing about Chris Harrison is that I feel like he would treat me as like his own little puppet. Like when he's on The Bachelor, he manufactures situations and asks like very pointed questions to get girls to break down for good TV. And I feel like maybe he just really enjoys watching people have emotional breakdowns. I have five emotional breakdowns per day as it is. I don't really know if I need Chris Harrison to manufacture more for me. So I think what I've learned is that neither of these would make a good dad, but I think the better one, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, Ted Mosby. He'll just leave me alone instead of like doctoring my life for his own entertainment. Next up, we have Quaker Oats Man versus Carla Zeus from CNN Student News. So we don't really know a lot about the Quaker Oats Man. He's very stoic. He just kind of sits there on your oats and stares at you. But here's the thing. He's not like the Quaker ice cream man. He's like the Quaker oat man, you know? And I feel like that's such a dad thing to like make you eat breakfast and like make you eat something healthy. So that has strong dad vibes for me. Carl Azus is also a strong candidate because he has those dad puns. But you know what? I don't think I would want to have a dad who's like, constantly traveling the world to get the latest news. And Quaker Oats Man is always there for me. He is always sitting on my pantry shelf. So for that reason, Quaker Oats Man is gonna move on to the next round. Okay, so moving along in our bracket, we have Teddy Roosevelt versus Billy Mays. I'm sorry, this one's just a no-brainer. It's gonna be Teddy Roosevelt. Like, I could give you some reasons, but it just is Teddy Roosevelt. Okay, now we have Jim from The Office versus Bill Nye the Science Guy. Jim from The Office, I think, is really strong in this comparison because he really prioritizes his family. Like, Pan and his kids are his life. Versus Bill Nye, I don't even know if he's married. I don't know if he has kids. Does he even have parents or did he just 
appear. But I am a little bit struggling because Bill Nye has like that conspiracy theory dad vibe where he would like take you out at 2 a.m. to like see if there's any crop circles, which would be cool. But you know what? I think I would take a stable dad over a cool dad anyway, so we're gonna take Jim. Okay, so now we have Harry from Mamma Mia versus Simon Cowell. Oh my gosh, they're both British. Well, that doesn't help me narrow down my choices. I just remembered a quote from Mamma Mia that just, it, it just makes Harry win. She's like, all three of you could be my dad. And then he's like, well, I'd take even one third of a daughter. I really find that to be wholesome. And if Harry would accept one third of me, I'd be honored. Which third do you want, Harry? Like the top, the middle, or like the legs? So now we have Ted Mosby versus Quaker Oats Man. I talk a lot. Like that's one of my main character traits is that I never shut up. Ted Mosby also never shuts up. And so for that reason, I feel like we would just kind of clash. But Quaker Oats Man doesn't say a peep. And I feel like we could kind of like yin and yang each other in that way. So I'm gonna have Quaker Oats Man move on. Oh, we're getting down to my true dad. Okay, so Jim from The Office versus Teddy Roosevelt. Woo! <coughs> this is hard. Both have such like nice, sweet dad vibes. But the big difference between these two is like motivational speaker quality. Jim, didn't, did he like become manager or something? I think he did, which is kind of motivational. But like Teddy Roosevelt, like really moved up in the ranks. He was like, ah, I'm president now. And also in the uh, Oscar award winning movie, <laughs> Night at the Museum, he just, he goes like, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. That's not him, it, no, that's the other Roosevelt. He says like a really inspiring quote. I find that inspirational, for lack of a better word. For that reason, Teddy Roosevelt is moving on to the next round. So now we have Harry from Mamma Mia versus Quaker Oats Man. Ooh, I guess we're in the final, that's why these are so rough. It's like sandpaper up in here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. This really comes down to parenting styles. I feel like Quaker Oats Man is that authoritarian parent. He will tell you when you're doing a bad job and he will punish you for it. And then I think Harry is a very like lax, chill parent. Like he's like, oh, uh, yeah, you dropped out of school and decided to become a wall? Great. That's not, he's British. Great. I wish that they would get married, Quaker Oats Man and Harry from Mamma Mia, that they would get married and then I could be like, both of their children, but I know I can only have one true dad. Oh, I, my heart is telling me Harry from Mamma Mia. Just gotta listen to your heart, you know? Okay, so we're in our final showdown and we are down to Teddy Roosevelt from Night at the Museum versus Harry from Mamma Mia. Oh, you know what? Looking at this, I would think Roosevelt all the way, but mmm, mmm, that just, it doesn't feel right. I can't, I just, I, oof. Can you just both adopt me? Can we do like a joint adoption situation? No, I gotta be strong. I gotta be strong. This is my moment where I am gonna make a decision about who's gonna be my true dad. You know what? It has to be Harry. It has to be because he can sing. He sings. Like all he does is sing his emotions. And imagine you wake up and you're like, I don't want to do anything. And then your dad's just like singing. He's like, good morning. I'm so happy. But like in a British, I'm like, good morning. I'm so happy. And I am your dad. Like how great would that be? That would be like, it's like my dream. Can we just all live in a musical? That's what Teen Beach Movie is about. I sound like a Ted said it. No. You know what? I think I'm having a stroke because this has just been too stressful for me. Hopefully Harry from Mamma Mia is rich enough to pay for my funeral. Just kidding. This has actually been a very fun experience. I feel very connected to all of my 16 potential true dads, but especially Harry because he is my one and only true dad. I just asked my dad if he'd like to give a comment on Harry being my true dad and he said he does not comment.